What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Somerville, Massachusetts. We are here for WCF Video Blog Episode 1. We're here at the famous Sit Yog Tongue Muay Thai Training Academy, Mark De La Grate, where he trains all the fighters, lots of guys from the UFC as well as guys from WCF. Greg Rebello's in there. I'm hearing some rumors that Marcus Davis and Patrick Cote are also in there. Um, my boy Joe Cavallaro, World Championship Fighting. What's up, Joe? So let's go in and uh, see what's going on. What's going on, guys? Oh, hey, man. Exactly. What's, what's going on? Joe Cavallaro. Hey, guys. The world famous, <laughs> but don't believe anything he tells you. <laughs> Follow me this way. We're going to see what's going on. Looks like a little bit of a uh, sparring session's going on. One of the things that's uh, really cool about being in Boston and mixed martial arts in general is all these guys tend to train in these small places. So you would think these are high profile guys. They'd have some training you know, facility out in the middle of nowhere where nobody can get at it. Not true. There's always a lot of action around here. You know, we, we just recently had Patrick Cote come back after a long layoff, had a knee injury uh, with his fight with Anderson Silva, unfortunately, uh, ending to that fight. You know, he's training right there alongside with Marcus Davis. Uh, again, you know, a long, long time friend of mine. And, and both of these guys uh, together just bring uh, tons of energy uh, to the camp. I've been on top with BTT Canada and Sit Your Tongue, and, you know, there's no reason why I want to go somewhere else. You know, this, this is the reason why I come here because. Since I'm, I'm, I have this combination, BTT Canada and Sit Your Tongue, before I blew up my knee, I was undefeated. It's not only uh, motivational for me as a trainer to get up to, to work for these guys uh, and, and to train these guys in their upcoming bouts in UFC 113 in Montreal, but uh, it's inspirational to the local guys here training as well. Uh, we got guys coming up fighting in June 11th on WCF. It's a big card, and uh, these guys are training side by side with some of the world's best fighters. How's Babish? He's all, oh, he said he called uh, he called me daddy yeah. the other day, um, Wednesday night. He said his first he's three months now. He's crawling around the house, you know, one one end of the house to the other, and uh, he just he's sitting there. He goes, mm, da da. I was like, oh, I cried. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best thing ever, you know. When you want, when you know you want to have a kid, it's like the the first thing is you want him to say da da. And once he said it, it was, it was awesome. New England and mixed martial arts. What do you? Where is the relevance that you think it plays in, in the world right now? Well, I think it's it's pretty huge. I mean, um, we got some really good fighters, some well-known fighters coming out of uh, the whole New England area. Um, I think that we have good fighters because it was a natural like boxing area too. So uh, you know, we've bred a lot of like just tough guys out of this area. You know, we got a tougher way of life. You know, we don't have sunshine all the time and. You know, we're, we're, we're facing things that, you know, people in, uh, you know, uh, beautiful California and Florida are facing all the time as far as just living. Right now, it's so popular that you can go any place and you get tons of sparring, tons of people to work out with. And the more people you can work out with, the more ideas that are different get brought in so you can perfect different techniques and add and some track things and whatnot. So I think that's why, uh, you know, New England's... You know, got uh, got a real good uh, group of guys that are coming out of here. 